My friend's Genshin account sucks, or so I've been told. When I logged in, I was faced with a dead Kazuha and a level 21 Chi Chi. <clears throat> nice. This account basically has no built characters, apart from this one Ganyu. I mean, what is this? I'm so sorry, Wonder Remains. I mean, even the Ganyu is using Wonder as troop. This set is viable, but yeah, not with these artifacts. Lucky for us, this account has a ridiculous amount of mats. I mean, that's going to take me a while to burn through. First, we have to fix this team comp. If you're some sort of god at dodging, you could do something like this. I just really didn't want to put the Kazuha to waste, but I think we have to, because not having something to stop Ganyu being interrupted would be so painful. I feel like a team like this would be highly optimal. The owner provides the shield so Ganyu doesn't get interrupted, and both Bennett and Diona can heal the team. Diona is also a cryo character, so she gives cryo resonance, which should mean we don't have to focus so much on crit rate. And the best thing about this team is that three of the characters on this team use the same artifact set. Well, Diona only uses two piece emblem, but it's still so much easier than farming a different domain for every character. Both Bennett and Zhang Ling provide pyro application and Bennett provides an attack buff for Ganyu. In terms of what I'm going to do with this Wanderer, well, I mean, nothing yet. But if you guys really enjoyed this video, then I'll do a second part where I build a Wanderer team on this account. Ganyu has Prototype Crescent, which is the ideal weapon that we want on her. This, however, yeah, this is going to have to go. This is definitely not what I want, but equally, I'm not fishing for the catch. I'm going to go for a Fab Lance instead and pray this account has the mats to level up and I don't have to farm for them. Yeah, they, they definitely have the mats. In terms of Bennett, we have a Sack Sword, so that's good. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, we definitely have to deal with this. This is, I mean, what even? I don't even know what's going on here. I would say with this team though, get the catch immediately. It will be a huge damage buff. I mean, certainly we're not gonna have to worry too much about energy recharge. But for now, I think we should focus on these artifacts because, I mean, I don't even know what's going on here. For Ganyu, we're gonna want Shimano's pieces. It does appear this account doesn't have like any artifacts on it. Well, aren't I lucky that they farmed 144 crystal cores? Well, I guess the only choice we have is to head into the Emblem Shimanawa's domain. Here, we can get pieces for Ganyu, Zhang Ling, and Diana's two set. I am slightly concerned though, because I don't know how well this team's going to be able to clear the domain. I'm not even kidding when I say I have not set foot in this domain since the Raiden video. I've been traumatized. Fissrod crit damage is going to be a pretty good piece. Ooh, that's pretty good as well. You know what? Clearing this domain with this team is honestly not even that bad. But Diona is just permanently dead. I don't really want to have to farm the Noblesse domain for Bennett. So I'm just going to strongbox all the pieces that we don't want from this domain for Noblesse. Shaft of Remembrance. Yeah, I definitely got shafted with these substats. If we just pretend the HP and defense are here, and we just pretend that it's going to roll into crit damage every time, then this is the best piece in the world. There's no way they give me two pieces with insane substats, and both of them are defense. <laughs> this could be a pretty good piece. I and mean, we definitely want crit damage, but it's not awful. Okay, first round to crit rate. I'm liking it. Into crit damage. Keep going. More crit. Give me more crit. I foresaw it. Okay, well, now you ruined it. This is still quite a good piece. You ruined it. Why? I mean, it's still usable if you don't get anything better, but that's disappointing. Ah! Oh my god, I'm alive. I actually jumped in real life. Okay, well, we do need a cryo damage bonus piece, so... It's the wrong set, and the subs that suck, but at least we have one, I suppose. Okay, this is another potential Diana piece. We do want ER, though, and maybe flat HP. Oh, this could be a really good jungling piece, actually. Especially if it rolls crit damage. If this piece rolls ER, EM, or attack, this would be a really good piece for jungling. EM, okay. Yeah, that, that'll work. Alright, but that won't. The one substat that I don't want it to roll into. Show me the money, Genshin. Show me the money. That's what I like to see. This is not cool. Oh my god. What What are the odds? Why is like every character on Wanderers? What is this? Even Dion is on Wanderers. Defense is stalking me. I'm telling you. Defense is stalking me. If this piece rolled crit rate, it would be nearly perfect actually. You guys want to know something funny? I once got offered free body pillows for a sponsorship. And of course I was like, hell yeah. And that leads into today's sponsor segment. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> ah! What the? What the? Because that jump scare. Uh, Genshin's a horror game. I want to commend the commitment to whoever says now play Among Us under every single one of my videos. Overall, we're going to spend around 2,400 resin on this team, which probably isn't enough investment to make anyone insane or build an insane team, but it's a solid foundation that they can improve upon easily based on what's already there. Honestly, I feel bad for anyone who whirled for Amos Bow. That weapon's been power crept by Akras and Milacra and Thunder's Path. Yo, the Fungus event is back. Bongo head, my beloved. Okay, I don't know if I think they're being funny, but um, three Shimanawa's goblets. All of the wrong damage bonus type. We could use this one on Zhang Ling, though. Come 
Ah! What, what am I playing FNAF? That's not bad. Crit rate, crit damage, and elemental mastery. I feel like we've seen a lot of feathers that are like exactly like this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh god! I'm fine. This is actually a horror game. Oh wow, that is such a good jungling sounds. That's huge. What are those and where are they hanging from? Like, what? Okay, so we used around 40 con- Why is everyone talking? Guys, please. We used around 40 condensed resin. So let's take a look at what we actually got. I'm going to build Bennett last because we need to use the strong box to get no bleach pieces. I'm going to build Dona first because I think she'll be the easiest to build. We're basically just going to stack HP on her because it increases the effectiveness of her shield and her healing. <laughs> I kind of forgot that Dona actually needed tenacity pieces. So um, I'm just going to run this domain a few times. It probably won't take me long to get HP pieces. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Okay, anyway, back to what we were doing. Well, that's not good for Deona, but that might end up being good for jungling. Okay, we didn't go on with the R. We might as well just go with this one because it has flat HP as well. Okay, rolls into flat HP. That's not bad. Ideally, we want a HP percent though. Uh, that's really not good. It might be worth investing into one of the other ones then. Okay, this piece rolled into HP once. This will be the only time where I have a crit rate, crit damage piece where I won't be upset if it doesn't roll into crit. Okay, it did though. And it rolled into crit rate as well. It's actually a not bad piece for maybe jungling if we don't have a better one. We kind of hope that at least one of these pieces rolls into HP. Oh, thank God it rolled into HP. Okay, this piece is definitely our best piece for this. It has H flat HP and HP percent. At least it rolled into HP percent once. Okay, this HP circle has energy recharge. We want to roll into this one and hopefully get some energy recharge in it. There we go. ER rolls. Okay, our donor's complete. 26,000 HP. Obviously, it could be way higher. She's only level 70. Her weapon's level 70. 170 ER. It can be better with a bit more investment, but it's not important right now. Uh, we got the ER subsats, HP main stats, 2P10 assay, 2P7, and 7 fate, which is exactly what we needed. Okay, jangling next. And um, it should be a slight improvement from the uh, four-star level zero artifact she currently has. <laughs> we just ranked up to AR-51. Well, luckily, AR-51 gives us a free noblesse piece. And a free Dionicon. Uh, well, that wasn't intentional, but I mean, that works. This piece has crit rate and crit damage. And hopefully it will roll either EM or ER. Okay, that's not, that's not EM or ER. Okay, and it rolled into HP. Yeah, okay, that's, let's uh, not invest into that anymore. This is probably our next best piece. Okay, that's good. That's a good roll. Okay, another roll into crit. Another roll into crit. Okay. Okay, well, it's a, it disappointed us with the last roll, but that's still a good piece for her. Now, we have a lot of options of feathers. If this rolls poorly, then this will probably be better. But I do kind of want some EM. Okay, I don't think it's better. It's not better. Oh, wait. I didn't see this one here. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Back up. We got. We still got one more piece. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. That's brutal. Yeah, let's just um, let's stick with this one. Into crit damage. Okay. The HP roll, but it did roll into crit rate. I wouldn't mind ER as well. ER is good. Why? I mean, I still think this is going to be the best piece we're going to get. Into crit damage. Okay, yeah. This is easily going to be the best attack sounds we're going to get. And that's a pretty good power over damage goblet. Okay, roll into attack. Run into attack again. And that roll basically all into attack. I can't be that mad at that. Now let's see what our crit ratio is like. We basically have two options here. We either go for this crit rate circlet or this crit damage goblet. Okay, now that roll into crit damage. I think that probably already makes it but like worth it. Oh, and it rolled into crit damage again. It rolled again into crit damage? Wait, that's this piece is actually insane. Oh my god, it rolled again into crit damage. That is such an insane circlet. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, now to build the Garnu. Okay, this piece has really good substats. So let's hope this one rolls well. Into crit rate. Right? Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. No, yeah, that that's good. Okay, well, it rolled into defense that time. Come on. That one roll into defense is unfortunate, but it's not bad, actually. I think this is definitely worth throwing on. I'm going to come back to these because we already have a good feather. The defense is really sad on this piece, but we also have this piece, which could end up being better than this piece. But I, I don't want to roll it just yet because we have limited mats. Crit rate. Okay, this will probably be the best one. Give me the crit, please. Oh, it rolled all into crit. No. Okay, that's still good. That's still good though. Okay, now we need a cryo damage bonus piece. This is the only five star cryo damage bonus piece. So we have to use this one. And it is terrible because it... Oh my god. This is so bad. Okay, considering her crit ratio looks like this, we're definitely going to want to use a crit rate circle. We have one. This is the only crit rate circle. Oh, it rolled HP. It didn't even roll into attack once. These two pieces are awful. They're so bad. The rest of her pieces are actually pretty decent. This guy new still has a long way to go. It needs some EM and can definitely do with a bit more crit rate and crit damage. It's just being dragged down by these two pieces, but these can both be worked on in the future. All we have to do now is strongbox noblesse pieces. Ooh. 
Those are some good sub stats. Crit race circle, that nice. Oh, that is such a good sand. Oh my god. That'll almost definitely be our sands. There was two hydro damage bonuses, an animo bonus, no pyro damage bonus. We don't have enough one in the account. I think maybe there's a, there's a four star one somewhere. Come on, please, pyro damage. Electro physical. Pyro, thank god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. If we didn't get that, we were so screwed. We got one though. Oh, that's another really good sands. We have two really good sands. Okay, I don't know why this Jinjo has this, but this will be our best flower. Okay, we have two identical feathers here, basically. Okay, this one did roll into crit a few times, but it also rolled into HP. Okay, this one basically rolled into, all into HP. I think the other one's going to be better. Yeah, and it, like, the, the final roll was into crit rate as well. Okay, we have some really good sands. Don't roll into HP. Anything but HP. Okay, it did roll into HP one, but it also rolled into, <laughs> but it also rolled into both crit rate and crit damage. So this is still really good. Okay, we have no choice with this pyro damage goblet. It has to be this one, and it's not—it's not actually that bad either. So, oh my god, insane roll. Well, we're out of mats, so we can't really build them anymore. We can't fully level his stuff. But honestly, these are some really good Bennett pieces. So when these are fully leveled, this will be a really good Bennett. When he's fully leveled, it'll be really good. This team is obviously not perfect. Garnio has some places that can, that can be improved. They all need to be leveled up and ascended. Their talents need to be improved. But now it has a really solid foundation to be a good team. I obviously can't do a showcase that would do this team justice because their characters are way too under leveled and. Their talents are way too underleveled. If you want to see me save this wonder, build a second team and clear the abyss and show both teams off, leave a like, let me know in the comments, subscribe so you don't miss it.